Well, out there in YouTube land, this is going to be kind of a controversial um, YouTube, or maybe it is, or maybe it's not. You'll have to leave your comments in the thing in the um, comments below, and I, I kind of hope you do because it, it's it's kind of lets me know that you're watching, let me know that you care, and it just I don't know if it helps me any better. It's hardly for hard for me to get much worse or better. Or, I don't know. <laughs> just kind of being funny there. When you when you anyway, anyhow, what it is is as a few few days ago I watched a Wrangler Star movie, and I think that he might have misled misled you or made made something wrong. He didn't mislead you. I think he was wrong in what he did, and I'm going to show you why I think he was wrong in what he did. But if you want to do what he does, I have no problem with that. That's a decision that you can make. I like Wrangler Star. I am subscribed to Wrangler Star, and he has hundreds of great videos out there. But this one just kind of twerked me a little bit, and I didn't want to leave him a negative comment because I don't like to do that. I try not to leave anybody a negative contact. So I thought I'd put this out there. Maybe somebody out there, one of you guys will send it to him and show, hey, maybe you want to think about this. I think what he did was unsafe. And so I'm trying to show you how I did it to make it maybe more safe or a better way or I, I don't know. It, it's for you guys to decide. The, the Wrangler Star that I'm talking with is Wrangler Star. Everybody, if you're watching here, I know you've seen him because he's a great guy. The, it's the one tool I re regretted most buying, and it's dated April 5th, 21. The one tool that I regretted most buying. I, I don't really know what tool that was when he met in there. It doesn't have anything to do with that. What this has to do with is is this piece here I don't know when I'm in the movie or when I'm not in the movie or what's in the movie or not in the movie he um, on the front of his fork it all it all started back it all started back when he was unloading that Dana Dana wood processor and I, I got to commend him also for that I mean those guys split up a lot of wood and donated it and Dana donated the splitter I believe and all that kind of stuff and like I said he does real good work but when he was taking that off I puckered up when he when he was unloading that Dana. Um, that 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 just scared scared the bejeejees out of me. I, I'm I wouldn't be surprised if he had to go change his pants after that too. But anyhow, what he did was he drilled a one inch hole in his forks here, and I don't think that was a good good thing for several reasons. Number one, if you drill any hole in these forks. One of you guys can probably go out there and check it out. You'll probably find that if OSHA came by and saw that, if you're on a job site, they would condemn your forks and make you remove them. Not sure on that. You guys look it up, get back with me, leave a comment in the bottom. Number two, he put a, a one inch hole in there to put the ball in there. Now, here's some of the reasons why I don't think that was good. I have half inch holes in here which I don't think that's going to, out at this end of the fork, going to change the integrity of it. It may, you may have more pull here and snap it because it's smaller. I, I don't know. I've never had any problem with it. <laughs> and it's been this way for quite a few years. And I've lifted some gnarly stuff. And I got probably more lift capacity with this machine than he might have with his tractor. I think I'm maxed out at 6,000 pounds lift, or that's my tipping point. But anyhow, if his is on one one thing that's leaning him down on that side that's pushing him down on one side i don't think that's good number two the one inch hole in his fork i don't think that that's i think that's a little bit too big might be wrong it's up to you guys to decide to what you want to do i'm just giving you another option which i think might be better and safer number three if he's just in one fork even though you're locking in see the, i don't know if everybody knows about that i think everybody does you have um little locks in here on your on your fork to lock them in and this little thing here locks them in these grooves and when you pull it up mine's not locked right now it should lock in there but even when mine are locked in when you get just one and it moves both of them they'll slide back and forth so he had he had the ability then more ability to slide down here where his 
fork would release or he could fall it would slide this way and maybe just have enough weight there to push his whole his whole tractor over I mean he had a lot of weight on that Dana and I'm sure that that's only a a once and who knows how long how many time doing it. oh man I'm running low on battery now but here's what I made I gotta step it up here's what I made I drilled two half inch holes in here I gotta see if you can see two half inch holes in here and I made this piece right here this is a piece of six inch channel and you can drop these two pins in these half inch holes I'm not gonna drop them in I'll drop one in okay and then you have the ability to have have anything you want on there you have any option for a two inch receiver if you want to want to do it this way that's a one and seven eighths here's one that I use a lot this one here is a a D ring I use it a lot I use that in, a, in conjunction with this setup a lot um, this is just kind of options so you can put that on there then you have a hook that swivels okay it's a swivel hook I also have some hooks that are just straight hooks that you can go like this but they the trouble with them is you can't go you can't it won't turn so I don't use those very often those are just kind of uh, hooks then you got this you got so that's uh you got you got an array of stuff that you wouldn't believe if you want to if you want to use that and then put this on here like that you got a um, a log grapple then that you can use I'll show you this I mean you have when you put this two inch receiver on there you have an unlimited amount of things that you can do with this when he has that ball on there he's really really the only thing he can use that for is that ball another thing that I meant to say when he did that when he has that ball here got to keep looking back to make sure you're in the picture because I, I don't remember from one minute to I can't the Sun finally made it out I think you're in there when he has that ball there okay and you're pivoting okay say this balls here but his ball the ball is all the way down here the distance between here he might get in a bind going down like this at, a, at an angle okay I, I just don't think that was good I meant to I meant that say that earlier this thing's also if you want you can flip it over So all I did was take the same six inch channel and put it on there I got a D ring on it here so you know when it's the other way this way is a little bit more way I use it with a trailer don't ask me why I got weld on hooks this this evens the power out or evens the lift between the two forks which keeps your machine leveled out better um, if the forks are going to slide one way or the other, the chances of both of them are sliding are, are a lot less than um, a lot less than just one. I, I just think that this is a lot safer way than what he did. But everybody's entitled to their own opinion. Another thing I did, I forgot, is when I made that, I marked. I don't know if you can see that. I marked here where uh, you can see it down over here maybe you can see it over here I might not have gotten over to that one you can, I marked where that thing fits so I don't have to sit there and push it in push it out I just move the forks to where the marks are <clears throat> anyhow I think that you would be a lot a lot better off in the long run making something like this rather than uh, uh, making drilling just one hole and putting the ball in there and only relying on one fork I mean that thing that thing can go anywhere and this thing comes off and goes on pretty easy that unlimited unlimited thing see you that fork can go like that even though it's locked in that fork can go like that if it's locked in and if it's raised at a certain time now it's not locked in but I bet I could lock that in there now it's locked in I could probably still still see now that was locked in that's locked in see that pin is in that 
in there. But if you get just the, the right angle on it, it's locked in. That's that's in the locked in position. I don't know if you're. I don't know if I. I probably don't have that in there. <clears throat> Let me see if I can get that back in there. That's in the locked position. That's in the locked position now. And even with it locked, see, if you get the right the right torque on there. Now see. Now watch it. It'll. There it went in. That means it's down in that groove. But if you if you had just have one on there, it can you get the right right, right mount on it, even though it's locked in. Now that that goes down in there. See, it won't move here. It won't move here. But if you get the right torque on that nose of that, and you get it down into this way, it might release that hole. It might crank like this and just slide out. Now it's fine. It's locked in better now. But even when mine are locked in, they move around. I don't, like I said, I don't lock them in very often. I don't, don't crank on them sideways. Now it's turned around, but you could, you could very easily get to here where that, that fork releases. And with two of them in there, weight balanced, I just think that this, this would be a better way. So that's about it for this video for a couple reasons. Number one, I'm running out of uh, battery. Here's some of the accoutrements that I use when I'm hanging off that D-ring at the bottom. And I'll show you once again how easy it is to really put on. You know, as, as far as when he puts that, when he puts that, uh-oh, there goes my leg. You're crooked because that, that leg is bad. Uh, when he puts that on, he's got to tighten that ball with a, um, with a nut. I guess you could put this on this way too, but I don't know why you would. But you, you, you know, you got four different positions. That's it. Remember, it's marked up at the front where where the uh, holes are, so the holes should come in. There it is. That's how. That's how quick it goes on. And even still, that that's a lot of that's a lot of wobble uh, when you think. But you got just so much safer. Anyhow, that's it for this one. I like Wrangler Star. I think if you've never visited him, you should go visit his visit his site. I think he's got a lot of good content, and I'm not I'm not cracking on him at all. Even though he does live on the West Coast, and West Coast people do a lot of things, I know that because I saw that on Mike Morgan's channel. <laughs> Anyhow, they they have a good camaraderie, and uh, <clears throat> if you like this, leave a comment below. Hit hit the like and subscribe. Um, everybody out there, send it to Wrangler Star, so he can. He, this might help him out, and he's a good guy. And if you haven't ever seen his one of his channels, which I kind of find that hard to believe, he's got a lot of good tent, good content, and you should go look at it. But sometimes when you see what he has, maybe you want to look elsewhere. I don't always shop in the same same spot, and. You know, more than one idea is good. If if everybody liked vanilla, they wouldn't wouldn't have never made chocolate. So, look at this. Look at his. Make a decision. Leave me a comment, and send it to him. <laughs> we'll see you. Love you. Bye.